I'm going to show you some footage of us just traveling all over the world and I'm talking about kind of floor like two miles over two miles of that if you've seen any of my other reviews you know that this girl is all about quality so if it doesn't pass the vibe check I say sayonara sucka I've had my base bags for over a year now and it's traveled the world with me many many times so cars buses trains and planes when we were shopping for luggage I wanted something pretty but also really good quality. I did a bunch of research in person and on the internet and just looking for the best kind of luggage that would suit our lifestyle. A few things I took into consideration were weight, aesthetics, price, durability, warranty, quality, and compartments. Also, this video is not sponsored at all. I have zero codes for you, but sometimes if you just sign up with your email on the website, you can get some good discounts. Let's first review quality and functionality. What is a good carry-on without some awesome wheels? These wheels are amazing. I'm gonna show you some footage of us just traveling all over the world, and I'm talking about kind of floor, like two miles, over two miles of that and look at these wheels they just look so great however when you are on really smooth floor look at how smooth that is rolling like that is that is good like peanut butter smooth I love this luggage so much because it's hard shell and it's super pretty and durable it's also super easy to wipe down with sanitizer spray If you know what that movie is, then comment below and we're gonna be friends. When we were in Singapore last year, I totally dropped my bag down the escalator. Thankfully, we were already halfway down and it was really late at night, so there wasn't a lot of people there. So yes, I dropped my bag down the escalator and those escalator stairs are like really sharp. I got my bag at the bottom of the escalator and it only had this one tiny nick in it, but I'm like, oh my gosh, this bag is amazing. It reminds me of like those really gorgeous models that like when they fall, they fall all like crazy, but then when they get up, they're like, Super gorgeous. The survival of this bag down the escalator and still being able to look glam afterwards definitely gets five stars from me. Another thing that I super appreciate is the handle also slides into the luggage really nice. You know like when the luggage is really full and then you're trying to like put the handle down and it's getting stopped because there's so much stuff in there? Well that's not a problem here for Bays. I super appreciate the handle and the way the button works. Also has this puffy squishy squish on the handle which is really nice. I've probably walked over two miles with this bag between Singapore, Japan, and Hawaii. But the the puffy handle is such a nice touch because when you're pulling this luggage you just feel fancy and it's really comfortable as you're pulling it all around the world. I like to just put a little black ribbon here so I know which one's mine easily. I also super love this bag hanger thing because you can put a little bag on there and it's just nice and secure. This is my first bag where I get to have a lock on it and I just feel super fancy. The TSA lock is really great and the metal zippers just fit in there really nicely. Also, the release button is super good quality. This luggage also expands to add more space and the material section is really nice and thick. The overall zipper and metal sections are really great, just like with all their other bags. Also, I love these handles, they're super nice quality. Oh, another cool thing that I don't use but it's just a nice perk is this has a weight indicator in there. I don't remember how many pounds it'll like actually change colors in there, but basically if your luggage is too heavy, this is gonna change color. But the reason why I don't use this that much is because certain airlines have a different weight limit. Last thing about quality and functionality of this bag, I sit on this bag all the time. Like we're talking like, if we're just sitting there, I could either sit on the airport seat or I can just sit on my luggage, why not? Also, if you have two bags, it's even more fun. Double the fun. If you like what you see so far, I would super love it if you would click that subscribe button and join the family. Here at Build Your Moxie, I cover self-improvement, productivity, and finances. Okay, let's talk about the layout real quick. Okay, what I normally pack inside my carry-on bag is my white noise machine. This one's my favorite one ever. I'll just stick it in there. I love my Apple AirTag. I also have my favorite eye mask. Okay, let's open this up. Handy dandy toiletries bag. One of my favorite books I'm reading right now. Can't go anywhere without my passion planner. My Lashify eyelashes. Got my underwear and socks inside. Muscle roller. Gotta do my PT, you know? Favorite tripod selfie stick. Yeah, stick that right there on the side. Stick this right here. Slippers. I love bringing slippers, especially some that you can wash. Or you know, like rinse them off in the shower or something. Okay, then we still got a little bit of space, so you know, Travel charger, let's just stick that right there. And then, here we go, my other favorite muscle roller. I'm gonna stick that in there. And look, when you open up the luggage, 
nothing's gonna be falling out. It's really, really amazing. So this is the side that I put the clothing on. Right, pop, pop. I always pack in compression cubes because I'm not a light packer at all, but these ones are my favorite compression cubes. Let's go ahead and close this. I love these clasps because they're not like the big bulky ones where you pinch on the side. Instead, they're nice and flat. Look at that flat profile. Wonderful. Super flat profile. Then, to tighten it, pull down, pull down, nice and flat. I'm gonna close this. Zippity zip, zippity zip. Ah, and then I just lock it right in there. Everything's so wonderful. Also, the Bayes rollers come with these dirty laundry bags, and I love these because it fits just the right amount of clothes, and when I'm done with it for the trip, I just throw it in the laundry, and then it still stays really nice. But yeah, cute, it says not basic, ha. Huh. Funny. As you can see, luggage can get pretty dirty when you're on vacation. But for me, I just use a magic eraser and some hand sanitizer spray, and it actually rubs off pretty well. As far as it goes as an actual carry-on on a plane, I have never had any problems with any of the flights I've been on. It always just fits right in there. I've been on Singapore Air, Asiana, Hawaiian Airlines, and Southwest so far with this bag. Let's just talk about the weight of the bag real quick. So the weight of this carry-on is like your typical carry-on weight. Now, if you're wanting something super lightweight, like something that weighs like two pounds or three pounds, you're gonna be spending a lot of money on them. So when it comes to like just clothing in general, usually like a, a nice pair of jeans, that's gonna be at least one pound. So if anything, I'd rather just pack more carefully instead of having to scoop out like $300 to get like two pounds less as a carry-on. Before getting Bay's bags, we used to use these old suitcases that we got as hand-me-downs when we got married. This other luggage that we had, one of them had no handle, so you were like pulling it with your arm down really low, and then the other one had a broken wheel. So we were trying to pay off our student loans, so for us, we didn't want to spend any money actually getting luggage if it kind of still worked. But now that our student loans are gone, we wanted to invest in some really good luggage. When I was researching this carry-on bag, I compared it to other brands and it was really, really similar. This carry-on bag was just a a little over $200, but honestly, the fact that it's rolled with me over two miles and it fell down the escalator and it still looks glam and is gorgeous and I can wipe it down, uh, it is worth it. When it comes to quality, price, functionality, layout, and aesthetics, I'm gonna give it a five out of five star rating. But I did want to mention that we do have the check-in bag and I just love it so much. I didn't cover it in this video because it's basically a bigger version of the carry-on roller with a lot of the same specs. We got the protective case for it because at the airport it's thrown around and there are scuff marks everywhere and they put stickers everywhere, but look how much this plastic case protected the luggage. It's great. The plastic piece also expands really nicely as well. I would say that plastic covering did a really good job. You can see how nice and clean it is. Minimal scuffs and scratches. If you like this video and the attention to detail, I made another video on my favorite must-have travel items, which I will link right here. 